Hi, and welcome to the Hi-Tech Air Reactor video blog. Today I want to talk about using the Hi-Tech Air Reactor to decontaminate your vehicle. Most people think about decontaminating their home when looking at air purification technologies, but many fail to recognize that their vehicle has been cross-contaminated too. Think about how many times a week you are in and out of your vehicle, each time bringing with you contaminants from your home, business, or job site. Each time you sit down in your vehicle, some of these contaminants fall off your clothing and settle into your vehicle's interior. Over time, these contaminants can build up and cause you to experience health-related symptoms each time you get in your vehicle. The Hi-Tech Air Reactor Model 101 is perfectly suited for vehicle decontamination. The superhydroxyl radicals produced by the Hi-Tech Air Reactor are propelled out of the machine and into the interior of your vehicle to eradicate contaminants at the molecular level. The Hi-Tech Air Reactor destroys mold, mycotoxins, viruses, bacteria, formaldehyde, VOCs, and more. So let's look at how to use the Model 101 inside your vehicle. Here we have the Hi-Tech Air Reactor Model 101. This is the smallest air reactor designed to address up to 12,000 cubic feet of air. Here we see the air reactor inside a Honda Accord. Honda lists the passenger volume as 100.8 cubic feet and the cargo volume is 15.5 cubic feet. Now these numbers don't represent the actual air volume in the vehicle, but I bring these numbers up to show that the Model 101 is well oversized to handle this vehicle, which is why we can run it for a relatively short period of time. I recommend running the Model 101 for a minimum of six hours with the vehicle off. I also recommend running the Model 101 with the vehicle running for an additional 30 minutes to an hour to help decontaminate the ventilation system. So let's talk about a few things you wanna do when using the air reactor with the vehicle running. First, we wanna set the fan to high, and then we wanna set the recirculation feature to on, which is this button here. This will help make sure the hydroxyls are recirculated within the vehicle and that you aren't pulling excessive amounts of outside air into the vehicle while you're working to decontaminate it. You may also want to check your cabin air filter and change that too if it is excessively dirty. So now let's let this run for another hour or so to help decontaminate the ventilation system. So there you go. That's how you can use a high-tech air reactor to decontaminate your vehicle. Of course, each vehicle will be different depending on the size and level of contamination. You may need to repeat this several times or run for longer periods of time to achieve suitable results. One other suggestion, consider using a power inverter like this one that will allow you to plug the Model 101 into your vehicle's 12 volt power port. This will allow you to run the air reactor while you're driving the vehicle. If you're often in contaminated environments throughout your day, this can be a great way to decontaminate and prevent cross-contamination for your home or business. Note that the Model 101 uses about 80 watts of power, so you will need an inverter that is rated to handle that load. Also make sure that the inverter will accept the ground prong from the power cord on the air reactor. That's our video for today. Head over to our webpage at www.hitechairreactor.com to learn more about the Hitech Air Solutions Air Reactor. Here you will find information about the different air reactor models. You can also visit our blog, review our FAQ section, and request a custom quote tailored to your home or business. You can also reach out to us via email at info at hitechairreactor.com. Thanks for watching.